Praise the Lord, everybody. Good. God bless you. Another video for this morning's devotional topic that God put on my heart is faith. It's something that I talk about a lot because I feel it's such an important aspect. And uh, without faith, a man cannot please God. But I want to draw your attention to Hebrews 11.1, 1, which says that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which we see are not made from the things which do appear. Now, what I want to hone in on is um, your issue, whatever it may be today that you're facing, the problem, the tribulation and opposition. When you really put it up to the test of God and you introduce your problems to your savior, what can really stand in the presence of God that he can't handle and fix? If the scripture is saying that faith is a substance of things hoped for, it is the very being of the things that we hope for. It materializes the things that have not manifested as of yet. And then it says it's the evidence of things not seen. It is the very proof of the things that our eyes can't see. And there's a parallel in Hebrews uh, 8.24 where it says, Hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for it? But if he hopes for what he doesn't see, then with patience will he wait for it. It's the very things that we get in a situation where there's no logical outcome and we don't have a way out. That you should feel most comfortable in those situations because now it gives occasion for a move of God. Sometimes we pray for a move of God, but don't understand that that move of God is a lot of times predicated upon misfortune, getting put in an impossible situation. Then God has a platform and a stage to work on. So what I'm saying is whatever you're facing today, whatever problem is laid before your path, introduce it to the God that we serve. It says he framed the worlds, meaning the ages, through faith by the word of God. When he came, that when he was here, because he's always been here, there was nothing for him to build with. There was no material substance to form anything with. He spoke the very matter into existence through faith by his word. He is that great of an architect. What is it that you're facing today that he cannot fix for you? If you be patient and believe on him, get out of the way of progress and trust the process and watch what God will do for you today. I'm not going to stand here too long before you, but God is trying to let me tell you and myself that no matter what wall you're facing today, I dare you to shout at it and it's going to fall. I dare you to proclaim victory over anything that is standing in your way right now because you serve a God that can create the material from immaterial. You serve a God that that is ageless a God that is before time and to step into time and jump right back out of it do you understand what I'm saying that he was here before time was ever manifested because he is timeless but he stepped into time in the form of a man named Christ Jesus then when Christ Jesus ascended he stepped right back out of time that's the God you serve a God that is in the past present and future all at the same time and you're worried about what your stress is a very insult to the power of God. Your worry is a direct insult to the move of God. Him is his miraculous power. We serve that kind of God. Sometimes you got to remind yourself of the God that you serve. And it's going to come in a, situ a situation in an instance where you don't have a logical outcome or a solution that you can muster up on your own. That's why sometimes when I get facing a problem or a situation that seems impossible, I find solace in those places more because I know that it's not in my hands. I know that there's nothing I can do. I know that it's not left up to me to try to conjure up some idea. Then I can let God do what he does best, which is fix problems. So I ask you, how strong is your faith? Do you really believe in God? Do you really trust that there's nothing that he can't do but lie or fail? This is the God that we serve. Be encouraged. God bless you. I love you all. Go out and conquer. Don't live beneath your privilege anymore. Praise the Lord. God bless you.